Recently, at the Ministry for Grand Bahama, members of the Caribbean Women in Leadership Organization paid a courtesy call on the Minister for Grand Bahama, the Honorable Ginger Moxie. The ladies shared their vision for women in the Bahamas and invited the minister to partake in their pinning ceremony held that same evening at the Calvary Temple Assembly of God Church on Clive Avenue. The people deserve a leader with compassion. The people deserve a leader with the ability to see beyond the eyes and into the soul, the cries, to hear the heart of our people. And I think Grand Bahama, I think the Bahamas has been able to capture one of those leaders and that person is encapsulated in the person of the Honorable Ginger Moxie, our Minister for Grand Bahama. So please, a little louder, see what he is, a little louder, all of us. Let us welcome our Minister for Grand Bahama, the Honorable Ginger Moxie. It gives me great joy to be with you today to congratulate the newly installed members of the Caribbean Women in Leadership Bahamas National Chapter. The women being honored here today are trailblazing uncharted territory by becoming the first women from Grand Bahama to be installed as members of this outstanding organization, which is comprised of a network of women who are united and dedicated to monitoring, strengthening, and increasing the political participation and leadership of women in the region through its advocacy, networking, research, and capacity building initiatives. This non-political, multi-partisan, independent, non-governmental organization has demonstrated its commitment to advocating social causes and tackling critical development issues in our region. Caribbean Women in Leadership is an organization that is not afraid to ask stakeholders the tough questions. And yes, they do ask the tough questions. Scrutinize their responses and hold societies accountable when human rights, gender equality and equity, economic justice and other principles are compromised or at risk. The mission of the organization to empower women throughout the Caribbean to ensure that women have the opportunity to participate equally in leadership and decision making in all spheres is timely. And it is a focus that is needed throughout the region now more than ever. It is my personal desire to see more women actively involved in politics and occupying positions of leadership in the Bahamas. It is imperative that we are fully involved in the decision making process that impacts our lives, the lives of our families and our communities. Caribbean Women in Leadership, I applaud your strategies of advocacy, education, training, and mentoring, your dialogues and active listening, your participatory action, solidarity and partnership building, and conflict mediation and resolution. You have mapped out a plan of action that will make a difference in the lives of women in the Caribbean and certainly the Bahamas. To the newly to be installed members who will be pinned today, I encourage you to wear your pins proudly and to hold true to the values it entails. Once again, I congratulate you all on your historic achievement and I look forward to the growth of Caribbean women leadership on Grand Bahama but I met this morning. And I believe that that was one of the most inspiring moments that I've had with a group of women. And really there's so much that needs to be done in this country, on this island. We've been through it all. And to have Caribbean women in leadership here, just speaking to, I think, my soul, because we have to partner together to make things happen. We're about to create, and we speak often about how, you know, things are done in silos. We can't get things done like that. We have to be united 
and we are creating something, something called Partnerships for Development, that will bring these groups together to really make things happen. And I am so excited about that. I'm so excited to have my friend Erin here. And really, the mission is, is great, but the opportunity to really, truly impact the lives of the people in our community, those who have been hurting from Dorian, from the pandemic, and from hurricanes before, they are looking for this type of leadership. They are looking for this type of unity, unity with women, women, women coming together because you know we can do it. And so, again, I am so excited because Caribbean Women in Leadership is going to play a key role on Grand Bahama Island, and we are going to be partnering, partnering and piloting many of the programs and projects that's going to lift this country forward. And so again, I thank you. Thank you for having me. I applaud the work that you do. So let's just do it. Thank you.